Okay. Welcome to my presentation on healthy sleep habits and improving your well-being. First of all, we're going to talk about sleep and your health and why we need or why our body needs good sleep. So first of all, it helps you to have a sharper mind so you can improve your ability to learn, have quicker reaction times, think more clearly, and be better at making decisions. So if you don't get enough sleep, you feel more lethargic and it's harder to remember things, easy to be forgetful and make simple mistakes. It's also good for boosting your immune system. So if you get enough sleep regularly, then your body is better at fighting off infections and preventing disease. It's also helpful to ward off heart disease because apparently <laughs> sleep allows for healing and repairing of your heart and blood vessels. And surprisingly, getting enough sleep can actually help you stay thinner. And not getting enough sleep can actually cause or um, help lead to things like diabetes. Oh, and I should mention, I put it on here for a reason, children between the ages of 6 and 12 years old, uh, it's recommended that you get 9 to 12 hours of sleep each night, which is a lot of sleep for a grown-up. Adults, me and Lindsay's age, are recommended to get seven to nine hours of sleep each night. That's why you go to bed early. <laughs> yeah. So this page is called Designing Your Sleep Oasis, and I've got a couple of tips here for how to prepare your bedroom before going to sleep. So first of all, it says to keep it cool, because apparently um, setting the temperature in the bedroom between roughly 60 and 65 degrees, which is a lot colder than we usually keep it during the day, is supposed to help you be able to relax and fall asleep easier. Uh, another recommendation is to switch off phones and cellular devices, computers, because blue light can affect your ability to uh, let your brain kind of shut down and get ready for sleep. That's the Alexa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Alexa. I think one alternative that I use regularly is a Kindle because I like to be able to read right before I go to sleep and I can change the light settings and it doesn't have blue light. Um, and then the third thing that's recommended here is seeking support, which is just having a good mattress and a good pillow. So if you've got a pillow that fits your needs and is the right level of hard or soft that you need to fall asleep, then go for it and don't be cheap when it comes to picking out a good mattress because you want to be as comfortable as possible when you go to bed. Uh, this page, Consistency for Better Sleep, um, talks about tips to keep your circadian rhythm on point, which is basically your body's natural sleep wake cycle. So first of all, um, two that kind of go together are getting plenty of sunlight and exercising regularly. So your body, uh, by, by working out and getting sunshine, your body feels more active and feels more like it's accomplished something during the day and it gets more comfortable and ready to relax at night. Keeping naps short is important because if we have irregularly long naps, we start to go into deeper sleep during the day and then when bedtime rolls around, we're not as tired as we should be and it can throw off our cycle. Um, avoiding caffeine is important. Caffeine can basically make you feel like you are more awake than you actually are, and then you crash afterwards. Um, this also talks about avoiding electronics in bed, which we already talked about, but it's a good thing to point out. Same thing. If you're trying to keep a steady cycle so that you're falling asleep and waking up at the same time every day, then getting on your phone on any given night can keep you up for an extra hour or two and throw off your cycles. Is this based off of the clock? Like when this is all supposed to happen? No, you don't have to work. You don't have to wake up first thing in the morning. It's just it's just a pattern. Like getting sunlight is good all day. It doesn't have to be first thing in the morning. And the only thing that we can, the only thing that we can look at is like the online products. Well, if you're trying to avoid the blue light and electronics, then yeah, you look at something like a Kindle because it doesn't have blue light in the screen, so you can read just like a regular book before bed. All right. Now we get to the game time, which I'll explain in the part two of the video. <laughs> Just kidding. 